Hey, this is John Sifferman from johnsifferman.com where I teach real world strength training. And in this video, I'm going to teach you the difference between practice and training. There's a very important distinction and to teach you this, I'm going to illustrate it with a story. 18 months ago, maybe two years ago, I bought my first pair of club bells. This is one of them. It's a mini club bell. It's only five pounds. And at the time, swinging this was actually a challenge, especially for my grip strength. Holding on to this for extended periods of time when it was swinging around my body um, quickly was actually challenging for me. So I spent a year training with that and about six or seven months ago I graduated to a pair of 15 pound club bells and it was just like starting over with with my grip strength. It was like I had no grip strength yet again. At the same time I bought the 15s I also bought a single 45 and you notice what I just did I just picked it up with one hand which when I first bought this six months ago, I could barely get it out of the box, let alone hold it with one hand. I mean, doing this just wasn't happening. I couldn't move it without holding it with both hands and sort of waddling across the room. And a week or two ago, I noticed that I was feeling pretty strong, and I attempted to clean the bruiser, the 45-pound club bell, probably against my better judgment, and I did it. And here's an example of that. Lower it down with one hand so I don't dislocate anything. But that is a tremendous grip strength improvement for me. I mean, that might be marginal results for somebody else, for one of you. But for me, that is tremendous. Just not only being able to hold the bruiser, but being able to clean it from the ground into this shoulder pack position. And what I want to focus on here is I haven't been training with club bells so much as I've been practicing with them. What I mean by that is practice is focusing on skill acquisition, practicing to improve your efficiency of a movement. So you want to focus on improving your technique of every exercise, you know, form, technique, these ring a bell, um, instead of training into exertion. And there's, there's a system I use called the Circular Strength Training System by Coach Scott Sonnen. Great system, check it out. And he teaches to train a technique first, so master form, and make sure that you're doing every exercise, every movement, so take this and apply it to your program, whether it's push-ups, training a hockey slap shot, or a front jab in boxing, heavy backpacking, etc. You want to train your technique first, so focus on perfect form with minimal discomfort. So if something's causing you pain, you need to re rehabilitate yourself from that. Don't perform that exercise, whatever it is. Once you can perform something with very good technique and with very little discomfort, <clears throat> then you can push on into exertion, like I am here with the two-handed club bell clean. I can perform this with good technique. It's not causing me any pain. So I can uh, increase the juice and really move on into exertion. That's when I make the transition from practice into training, where I'm more focused on improving attributes like strength, endurance, power, etc. But I want to emphasize here, you'll get all those, those attributes will be improved by practicing instead of training. So I want to encourage you, focus on practicing before you train. And I guarantee if you plug it into your program that you will see Amazing results, especially for you people who are making a lifestyle out of this.